Hey guys, long day again, like, sorry if I'm moving, I'm on a rocking chair, and I'm so relaxed, it's so comfortable, and I'm tired, it's, what, 10 o'clock maybe, I don't even know, but, I worked out again today, of course, after work, did my usual, um, 30 minutes elliptical, 30 minutes Stairmaster, and of course 30 minutes straight of running. I sweat a lot. It was kind of nice because I was running with like all guys in the row. I feel really good because I feel like this competitive mode turning on and it makes me want to like beat them. So it was nice. I almost felt like yesterday when I was feeling tired and shitty and just stopped at like 20 minutes or something. So yeah, I saw my buddy. That was kind of nice, I think. I don't know. But I was beat. After it was over, I went home, ate some dinner, and um, took a shower and stuff. Um, sometimes when I sit and think, like I'll be so motivated at certain days. And then another day, I'll think like more negative thoughts than positive. So I go into this like somewhat of a depression feeling. Like, I'm never going to get there. It's frustrating. 30 pounds is so much. It's so hard. And I'll, like, try to fit into certain clothes, clothing items that I have. And realizing that it still doesn't fit me, it makes me feel like shit. And I know these things, but yeah, I still do it to myself. It's like, I'm... Always torture myself somehow, knowing it's gonna hurt me, but yet I still go for it, knowing what the outcome is. You guys feel that way? You guys been through that? So like, right now I'm having that frustration mode, even though I still feel like I'm gonna keep pushing myself. As hard as it, it's gonna be, I have to push myself, and I really need to prove people wrong because I feel like getting pressure from my parents I feel pressure from people around me probably thinking I can't do it because I guess I keep talking about this for years and years so like I was googling online as always I get into this mode where I get obsessed with searching of how to lose weight the healthy way you know I want to lose 30 pounds so I guess three months is like a healthy way to lose weight lose like a pound or two each week is healthy you gotta, you know, incorporate at least hardcore five days a week, which is what I've been starting to do since last week. Five days of workout, and that includes cardio, a lot of cardio, and at the same time, do weights, which I haven't been doing lately, so I need to get back on doing weights as well. But cardio is definitely key, and eat like five small meals, and... Also, they say not to um, eat after 7, which is kind of hard because by the time I get off the gym, it's like freaking 5 minutes till 8, so I get home and eat because I have to eat. I am drained. I do eat some stuff right after work before gym. I'll have a banana or an apple, which has been my daily routine because... I get hungry by the end of the day of work. My, my stomach growls and I do eat a decent lunch. I don't overeat anymore like it used to me. Like once a week I do, but I pretty much eat okay. Sometimes there'll be cookies and cakes and I honestly don't eat it. Yesterday they had cookies and I didn't eat it. As tempting as it was, I didn't do it. I drank water. I ate a sandwich and a soup that they brought in yesterday, so that was good. Today, um, Coker made some Cambodian noodles soup. That was good. So I ate and I had a banana for. I went to the gym and I got home. I had some fruits and a little bit of rice with a uh, fish. But it was really small. And yes, I had two cookies. Like I said, I'm not going to like shut down of all my food cravings. But yeah, I've been searching and then every other day... When I feel like really shitty, like I can't get to my weight goal, I'll look at like stars who have lost weight. Someone I pretty much think looks awesome right now. Um, 
Oh god, probably forget her names. Oh, Jennifer Hudson looks amazing. Um, Raven Simone used to be chunky. She looks good. And um Jordan Sparks looks gorgeous. And who else lost a lot of weight? Kelly Osborne. I look at these ladies and they work out very hard. And I know of course they have personal trainers and whatnot, but you know, they did themselves too, but it's nice that they have people on their asses, so I feel alone. Wish I wasn't issues, but yeah, they look so beautiful. I look up to them sometimes, like they used to be like overweight and what a difference it made when he lost that weight. They look so beautiful and fit. Like I can never look like them, like really hot like them, but I wanna lose weight like them. So sometimes I'll go look at pictures before and after pictures of those celebrities and try to get me to want to yearn to get this weight off. So right now my my feelings I do feel frustrated, annoyed, irritated, like thirty pounds is not that much, but that's a lot. It is a lot, but it's not that much. Making any sense? Yeah. It's like my mom said, you work your ass off, but you screwed up around Christmas time at 8 and 8 and gained 15 pounds when you worked like a whole year or two to get off this weight. Kind of true, but kind of hurts to hear say that. And, you know, how my friends that keep talking for years and years, saying how I need to lose weight, this and that. Give me credit. Because, seriously, I used to be 217 pounds. I don't know how many times I have to remind people that or let people know that don't know and rem remind myself. I'm going to give myself credit. I need to, you know, that was huge. Like, I know I'm still fat. I'm still overweight. I'm on the obesity, obesity <laughs> level. BMI is 29 but damn, 270 pounds. If you look at my past videos of before and after pictures, like a couple months ago, sometime last year, from what I look like now at 158 and 217, it's a big difference. Like, my body probably don't even fit this screen. Like, I was round and, like, you know, like. <laughs> and sometimes I look, I feel so sad. I just didn't love myself. I just gave in and with the person I was with at the time I didn't care having that feeling of yeah I'm with someone he loves me for who I am he'll always love me no matter how fat I get and I forgot about myself I didn't care but the past is the past I'm here now I am single and I should make the best out of it and just get to that sexy weight goal Sometimes I feel like I'm going to fail in three months and just something bad will happen and I'll be in the high 160s, 170s again. I'm scared. I'm one of those people who really needs to watch out because I get fat. I gain just like that. I mean, look what happened. 15 pounds since Christmas I gained. Like, when I get to 120, it's not the end. For most people... It might be their bias used to it and they'll never gain weight again. But for me, I fear. Like, I gain so easily. Like, God forbid, imagine if I'm pregnant. I'll know I'll blow up. I'm not even thinking about having babies anymore. I don't even see myself having a baby or being with someone. But besides that, I should be blessed that I don't have much burdens. I... I have the time to just take care of myself, losing weight, get to this weight goal. I told my friend, Tim the Red Lobster, I want to go there so bad. When I get to 120, that'd be awesome. So I tried one of my dresses, which I bought like a year ago, thinking it'll fit me. I bought like a size smaller, but one day I'll fit into it. It's still brand new. I got it at Dots, and it was 20 bucks, so I couldn't resist that, but I tried on again. I knew it wouldn't fit me, but 
I just have to. It zipped all the way up, but my stomach is bulged out, and yeah. So I felt like shit and fat. Yeah, we put ourselves down so much. So I'm trying really hard. I'm trying myself really hard not to get on a scale. Last time I checked, it's 158. Past few days, I feel like maybe I gained a pound or two. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I did. What if I did? And if I did, I check on today and tomorrow morning. I'll feel like shit. And I don't want to feel like shit. So I'm keeping the suspense until what? Last time I weighed in was May 10th. So next time I weigh is June 10th. And at the same time, I feel stupid if I gain weight. I really feel the need to prove myself wrong to people. It's frustrating. It's so frustrating. Like, yeah, I know I lost so much weight from 2007, but I am stuck and I whined. I don't care. I'm human. Who doesn't whine? Some people just don't want to admit that they whine. Some people just cry about me. I open to YouTube, the YouTube community, because I know I'm not alone. I just like to express myself online to the world. Because in reality, I do feel alone. I have no one to talk to. Can't talk to my mom. Can barely talk to my best friend in California. Sometimes people are so judgmental. And all you can turn to is away from reality. Which is kind of sad sometimes. But hey, one day I'll look back at these videos and be like, You done well, Rin Rin. You done well. And I am proud. But I have my days when I'm like, you suck. I'm so negative sometimes. Look at this. <laughs> oh, does this video make any sense? I need to stop because it's like 12 minutes. I can talk forever. Look at this shit. All right, my weight loss family out there. My frustrations are put out to the world. It's okay. I'll be okay. You'll be okay. Just keep doing what you're doing. And just don't let anyone make you feel like you can't do it. Prove them wrong. Prove them wrong. Because one day... I don't know. One day. You'll get there. And I'll get there. And we'll be happy. And in your face. I did it. I lost weight. You know? It's hard. It's really hard. I'm just going to keep going. As shitty as I feel, I'm going to keep going. Hi guys, love you all, and thank you for the comments and support. You guys really do mean a lot to me. I don't say enough sometimes. I try to let you guys know. Alright, bye. Done.